You know, in a lot of ways, it's pretty appropriate that Tom Holland is about to star in his third solo Spider-Man picture with a title like No Way Home. No, I'm not talking about his recent admission that this film might be the darkest and saddest Spider-Man film of all time. What I'm really trying to say is the fact that even though we know Tom Holland must own one of the nicest homes in all of England, with his Marvel Universe salary working all the way up to nearly $5 million for his most recent entry, nobody knows what this dude's place is really like. Well, maybe I shouldn't say nobody. After all, there have been countless hints dropped online about it, even from the man himself. That's right, Tom likes to keep things all in the family, and not only did he ultimately select a home for himself that's within shouting distance of his dear old parents, he also now lives with his three younger brothers in his new home. That is, when he isn't inviting famous actresses like Zendaya or Nadia Parks over for a little visit. We can at least assume that with a net worth of about $18 million, his homes aren't too shabby. And during lockdown last year, Tom made his fair share of headlines for your curious home invasion that you're just gonna have to see to believe. I'll also fill you in on where Tom's been staying during the filming of the most recent Spider-Man entry and let you know what he does with his off time, you know, when he's not on set. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're breaking down what we know about where Tom Holland calls home. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Tom Holland was born in Kingston upon Thames, a town located in southwest London. Not only is this one of the biggest retail shopping centers in all of England, receiving approximately 18 million visitors each year, but it's also the very place where Saxon kings used to be crowned historically in the 5th to the 11th centuries. Tom spent his childhood growing up in this historical hub of London, attending Donhead Preparatory School, and then Wimbledon College in nearby Edge Hill. It was while at Wimbledon that Tom joined a hip hop crew called Nifty Feet Dance School, and while performing at the Richmond Dance Festival, he was spotted by a choreographer who recommended him for an upcoming musical being put up on the west end of town. Billy Elliot. After that, Tom's acting career took off. His first film was 2012's The Impossible. He followed that up with appearances in movies like Locke and In the Heart of the Sea before being cast as the new teenage Peter Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and debuting in Captain America Civil War. Here we have a young man who was raised in one of the oldest and most historical cities on the planet and who managed to break through in a big, big way into the Hollywood scene. So where does he choose to live? Well, for Tom, it's really no choice at all. There's just no way he'd ever wanna live anywhere but the place he's from. At the premiere of Spider-Man Homecoming, Holland told the Evening Standard, I'm a London boy born and bred, and I'll be there for as long as I can. A few years ago, when Tom was finally ready to strike out and buy his own home, it wasn't a process that happened quickly. In fact, according to Tom, it took him about two years of searching for him to find the perfect place. And the crazy thing, the apartment he ended up buying was located in the very same borough that he grew up in. In fact, it's only a short walk from his parents' place where he's spent his entire life to this point. With a little bit of help from his mom, Tom found the perfect spot. And the great thing is, he didn't even have to tell her to put an offer on the place. She took care of it for him. Moms, yes, they're psychics, I tell ya. Of course, just because Tom suddenly had his very own place on his hands doesn't mean that he immediately knew what to do with it. It took him a long time to figure out how to decorate it, and even something as simple as picking out a new bed proved stressful for him. Thankfully, when things get stressful, Tom has a gorgeous bull terrier named Tessa that he shares his new home with, whom he can snuggle up to if things ever become a bit too much to handle. Even when he is away, he needs to check in on her over Zoom. And if Tessa isn't cutting it, then Tom can have a laugh or two at home with his little brothers, 
each of whom now lives with their world famous bro in his new apartment. Not to mention they let him do things like cut their hair while they're both under the influence. Only a couple years after moving out on his own, Tom and the entire rest of the world were forced to spend as much time at home as possible when lockdown set in during the early stages of 2020. So what did Tom get up to doing during that time? Well, that previous clip kind of gave us a taste of the answer. The same thing a whole lot of us did, drinking. When being interviewed and asked if he was experiencing any tension during quarantine, Tom told them, Not really, because we're drunk all the time. Aside from the occasional brew, actually he's British, I should probably refer to that as a pint, Tom did manage to stay at least a little bit productive. He told the media outlet that he and his brother Harry have been hard at work writing their very first screenplay, a task that was both exciting and daunting, he told them. We've sent that out yesterday to the first bunch of producers, which is actually more nerve wracking than anything I've ever done in my career, because I'm worried that they're going to find out that I'm really stupid and I can't spell anything. Then, just as Tom was getting ready to cut out the drinking from his quarantine lifestyle, his good buddy Ryan Reynolds sent him a gift that made that practically impossible. An entire case of Reynolds own aviation gin with a note that read, some friendly neighborhood spider gin. Love Ryan. What it must be like to have a friend like Ryan Reynolds, am I right? Then again, dudes aren't the only people that Tom likes to spend his time with. During the early stages of lockdown, there were a ton of reports that Tom had a new roommate sharing his space with he and his brothers, his new girlfriend, actress Nadia Parks. She reportedly moved into Tom's apartment to isolate with him and his family, and while I'm sure that seemed like a good idea at the time, to two people exploring the thrills of a new relationship, it probably didn't wind up doing them much favors in the long run. Well, because about a year later, this photo began making the round. Now Tom has moved on from Nadia and appears to be in a very public and passionate relationship with his Spider-Man No Way Home co-star Zendaya. He's even attending weddings with her and calling her his MJ over on Instagram. How long will it be until Zendaya gets invited to move into Tom's flat upon Thames? Well, if it hasn't happened already, I'm sure it's only a matter of time. That being said, as nice of a neighborhood as Tom no doubt lives in, that doesn't mean that the famous Hollywood actor is exempt from things like break-ins. Well, kind of. All right, sure, Tom has never had a human break into his place as best as I can tell, but he has had a particularly nasty pigeon move in and try to take control of the place. The best part of that video is how Tom calls the bird Will Smith as an inside joke to the animated film Spies in Disguise that the two actors made together in which, yes, Will played a pigeon. The other important takeaway from this clip is the revelation that when Tom is home all alone, he's apparently not someone who likes to wear a lot of clothing. Tom, that's only gonna make a large percentage of your fan base try that much harder to pinpoint the exact location of your home. I'm just warning you. Finally, before we go, for those of you wondering how the filming of No Way Home went for Tom, well, it was pretty much same old, same old. With filming taking place in Atlanta, Georgia, Tom moved his brothers to a rental house in Georgia, where they've been staying since September. And on Tom's off days, he does pretty much what he used to do back home in Thames, have a few drinks with his family. But now, instead of staying at home and playing video games, they hit up the local golf club to smack some balls around. All right, my friends, that's gonna bring this house tour of Tom Holland to a close. I know this was a bit of an unconventional house tour, if we can even call it that, but what can I say? Tom likes to keep his living situation under very tight wraps. Maybe at some point he'll open up the door, so to speak, and let us into his private life a little bit more, but for now, we'll have to make do with the glimpses we have. Anyways, if there's anything you know about Tom's home that I missed, then definitely hit me up in that comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!